Good morning. I'm Kyle and I am one half of the Wandering Shores. So today we got a special video for you. Um, for quite a while now, we've been on the road for about seven and a half months, people have been asking to see what our camper looks like. Uh, we thought it might be a perfect time to give a quick tour. Uh, and when I say quick, I'm not sure how long this video is going to end up being, but we're going to do our best to keep it fairly short. So we are in a 2018 Keystone Outback 240 or 240 URS and it's a front-end toy hauler which is a very unique design and we'll show you a little bit about that here uh, shortly. So one of the things I wanted to do is kind of break this in half. We're going to do an exterior review as well as an interior review. And I'm going to do my best to capture all of the modifications that we've made. But I'm going to be honest with you, uh, there have been so many. So below in the link, there is going to be a list of the actual items that we've used. Um, so if you're interested in finding out more about those items, that's where you can check is in the, uh, the description below. There'll be a ton of uh, Amazon links to the different items that we've used. So up front here, again, this is a 2018 Keystone Outback UR, uh, 240 URS. Uh, one of the first things we did, and, and again, this doesn't make a big change, but we uh, the the scheme color scheme was blue. So what we did is we covered up the blue. Uh, section there with some red vinyl to match the truck of course um, so that's really most of what we've done on the exterior we've put a new a few new stickers on but uh, you know on the front end here what we're gonna find first here is a what we have turned into our battery box this is not a video on our battery setup, our electrical setup, or our solar, but I can tell you that we have 340 hours of Renogy lithium uh, iron phosphate batteries. We have about 500 watts of solar panels um, that are ground mounted so that we can move them around as needed. Um, we've got a Epever 30 amp solar charge controller and a Renogy 20 amp DC to DC charger so that we can plug it into the car directly while we're traveling and charge the batteries at a much faster rate. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of leave that there. We're gonna do more information at some point on our solar and our uh, on our battery setup. But over here on this side, one of the things that we have done is we have removed the stock jacks and we have installed the Easy Lift scissor jack upgrade and so those scissor jacks are i believe 5000 pounds the ones that were on there were rated for 2500 so that has been a significant upgrade as far as the stability um, this is you know this is a modification i added i created this little extra support with a ratchet strap and some two by fours that has made a big difference on this side here um, we mounted a light up there above the exterior light that's a motion light um, obviously we've got this cool logo here and uh, we have removed a few of the swooshes and installed red swooshes as you can see right here they used to be blue um, other than that we don't have a whole lot that we've done there as many of you know we have a rear slide we're gonna show you more about that that's the king-size bed in the back of the camper our camper is 28 feet and eight inches long when it's fully closed up and then extends to 33 feet when the uh, slide is out. Um, we've got the <clears throat> ever so important wind socks here. Um, we put those there because I have gashed my head open twice already and uh, hitting it on the slide when I wasn't paying attention. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have that on camera, so you weren't able to see the comedy of errors that was me chasing after a trash bag down the beach in Galveston and getting clotheslined by the slide because I forgot it was open. So um, we hung those there to help kind of give us a reminder. On the back here, we have added a rear camera 
Um, thanks to Morton's on the move gave us that idea I'll link their video below um, on how we did that we're basically using an old phone that allows us to see directly behind us um, through a cord that we run through the camper just when we are traveling so it works out great um, we have a perforated one directional sign there so you can't really see in that window at all but you can see out it's kind of like one of those wraps that are on uh, buses throughout the, the, the major cities. Um, we've got another motion sensitive light up there. Uh, it's solar powered so it's, it's perfect for our needs. Um, on the other side here we have another camera mounted right up there in that corner as well as one in the front corner. Now as you'll see here this is the toy hauler door that comes down and can either ramp down to the ground or can um, be set out on some stands and use it almost like a patio so we'll show you that setup some of this we're going to show you in still photos probably in this video right now um, and then the ever so important map of where we have been so you can see we are making our way across to the eastern uh, part of the country as we started and currently we are in Yuma Arizona one thing about this location is we are actually visiting my parents here in Yuma so we very rarely have hookups or uh, you know for water and electric so and we definitely are not on sites this nice normally um, we're on you know boone docking spots in the middle of the National Forest which are in some ways much nicer but yeah so that is the exterior review um, we'll talk about some of the interior stuff once we get inside um, if you have any questions please 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 leave them in the comments below there's a lot of stuff going on um, there's a lot of products out here that we have you know for example the are the um, the tire covers or the uh, X chocks that help stabilize the vehicle, but we just don't have time in a, in a video to do reviews of each of those items right now. So yeah, that's our 2018 240 URS. All right, I have opened up the what we refer to as the garage door, and uh, we're gonna take you inside for the interior tour now. Um, with this door, obviously, as I said, you can leave it in the down position like it is, or you can put some supports under it and keep it directly 90 degrees out and make kind of a patio out of it. So um, right here, we're going into the garage. Uh, we have mounted a, well, what originally was a magnetic screen Screen. We have changed it and put a zipper on it just for the cats so that we can have this open at any point But yeah, that'll that link will be down there. So here in the garage area um, What you'll see is we've got some storage over here some chest of drawers We've got the sign from the great people at Fort Bend CrossFit um, We've got our bikes mounted under here. So right now I'm probably gonna be flashing up some before shots and this used to be two bunk beds and what I have done is I have created cabinetry out of it so that um, we have a lot more cabinet space so these two cabinets right there were the original factory cabinets and those four right there have been added that was the original bottom of the upper bunk and so I just you know did some carpentry work and that cleared the space here we took the bunk bed out of the bottom and made space for our bikes to be um, mounted there in place while we're traveling we got a dehumidifier there and then up under here we've got some clasps to hang some mops and some other things that we might need this is our monstrosity of a litter box so as you can see it's an old deck box cut a hole in it and put the litter box inside of there that way they can climb in there and use the litter box again for those who may not know we have four cats that we travel with you'll probably see them as we head into the living space but yeah um let me just spin around here and show you kind of the uh, outside view there and so we're going to walk into the living space now All right, we're heading into the living space. First thing you're gonna see over here on the side is our sticker door. Uh, we collect stickers from all the places that we've been and eventually this door is gonna be completely filled. Um, just for a point of reference, that is the front door right there. 
um, where you would walk in normally. Uh, we don't normally have the garage door open like we do right now, but again, we have a rear slide, which you're gonna see shortly. Um, we've got the kitchen area over here on the left, and we have not done a whole lot of modifications until we get to this section right here. Originally, and I'll be flashing up some Im images right now, there was a dinette there. We removed that dinette. I used the old kitchen table cut it down and put it as a extension here on the countertop to give us more space um, and it uh, hinges down during travel and then that's one of our supports that we use for multiple things um, you know we can talk about that later and then I found this semi recliner it slides um, around very easily it um, reclines back so that uh, you know we can watch the television which is mounted right there over here we've got the couch and the ever so popular refrigerator and freezer um, we have installed a new converter for charging our lithium battery specific so I'll put a link to that but I'm not going to do a whole video on that right now um, under the couch originally this was all closed off and all one piece I cut it down the center and then put a piano hinge and it allows us to lift it up like this and have all the additional storage under there um, on the other half of the couch down at that end it's just permanently um, screwed on there because that's where the hot water tank is and the water pump so in case we need to access that underneath the slide right here we found these beautiful little uh, fabric crates at the container store and they fit perfect under there so we put some clothes and other items in there for extra storage and then we have our king size bed um, so let me introduce you this is Mushi that is Marley over here we have the black one is Nico and the Siamese is Chanel so um, we have a we upgraded our mattress to an 8 inch memory foam mattress we put the um, let me lift this real quick and show you guys we put this material underneath that keeps the moisture down I'll put a link to that as well um, but it's a king size bed extremely comfortable we've got a few USB powered battery operated uh, fans that we keep here on each side of the bed which helps with the circulation we've got a little light up there a battery uh, powered light and then the standard cabinetry right there um, we have also over here for those of you who own this you'll know that you plug in the exterior the un, uh, light for the slide right there we have tapped into that and run two USB cables along the underneath the edge of the bed so that we can charge our phones back there and back there to give us some extra um, charging ports um, and then the last room we have is the bathroom so let me go in here and show you what we got um, we mounted some extra shelving there in those baskets that's worked out great for us um, many of you may already know but we have taken the original toilet out to help conserve water and have gone with a composting toilet this is the sea head composting toilet the nice thing about this toilet is it allows for what's called a bottom exit and so the solids go into the bucket and are composted but the liquids still drain into the black tank so we can still use the black tank for the uh, for this for the liquids and don't have to uh, worry about uh, emptying the jug like most composting toilets do um, and then over in this area we have the shower um, that right there folks uh, is a washing machine and spin so on this half you wash the the clothing and then this half you put it in here and it spins it extremely fast um, takes about five gallons to do so it's perfect when we're out boondocking nice thing obviously it doesn't live in here um, we can take it out and put it outside and fill it with water and then just drain it as long as we're using all natural soap um, you can just drain it uh, so it works perfectly so um, other than that we have installed a fan here and we have installed a fan here the old fart fans that came in this were useless and we found these direct replacements that did not require us to remove the entire 
um, fan area and these fit into the old space and they work fantastic that one's a little dirty dirty sorry but we've been in some very dusty areas so I uh, hope this tour was helpful if you've got any questions um, you know I'd be happy to answer them again a little shot angle from this side um, you know here we have just one last thing we've got our internet hub here we've got a pep wave uh, mobile router so that gives us internet in most every place that we've been we've got some hot spots that we connect to it and some sim cards that are in there so um, yes thanks for joining thanks for following today and hope this review was helpful for you guys